She is showing us how to take our everyday utensils and give them a little personal touch. Yes. Aren't you, Paige? It's burning spoons, but burning it in a different way than Mark burns his wood yeah, spoons. Yeah, yeah, by not <laughs> a bit. on purpose you're doing right. it, right? On purpose yeah. and with um, a little burning tool. Perfect. Yes, not leaving them in the pan. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, it actually takes a little bit of skill, but it's really, really easy and fun to but do. But every Even one of mine are really unique. In nature. That's true. Yours yeah. are unique as well. They're just wow. burned differently. <laughs> what if you are not as crafty as some people? Could you still do this? Because it looks kind of intricate. It is. Well, actually, this one's just dots. So oh. really, yeah. all you need to do is hold just it in the okay. same place for yeah. a while. But to get, like, this is the California bear and yeah, some that pine is trees. Hard. If you are not comfortable doing it yourself, you can download something from the internet and just trace it. But the best thing about it is you put it on originally with just this. Uh, a pencil. So a you pencil. can erase if it So goes you can wrong. erase. Okay. And it actually does erase because I've messed up on a few, erased them, no problem. Okay. So sky's the limit. So if you don't want to do it, and could you have your family do something like this? Yes, the kids can definitely join in. I would suggest them not actually using the burning tool themselves because it does heat up and it's probably yeah. not safe. Yeah. But they can draw to their heart's Galore. content and then you can seal it in. Okay. All right. Yes. Well, let's see what you did. You got started a little earlier today. Yes. Well, I just started with regular uh, wooden spoons and there's that wonderful pencil Easy. I was telling you okay. about. Easy. And all I did was just add a little lines going back and forth and then I took my burning tool. Now you gotta oh let gosh. this warm up a little, and it does take a little while. You can't just draw on it like a marker because it actually has to burn into the wood. Does it smell like the wood burning? When oh, you it do smells it? so good. I love that, like a campfire. It does smell like a campfire. And this is sped up, of course. It took me a lot longer to do that. But that, and that's all it is. So then that's you're amazing. you're left with this. And although this is this was pre-treated, but now that we've gone in and made some burns, mm. we actually need to retreat that so that it doesn't collect bacteria. Yeah, that would be bad. Yes. So and it doesn't do? transfer that burnt taste onto your food. Although that's what it my does, family's used to. It does actually smell it. It smells yeah. like it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It does Finally smell like. High, I yeah. wish it was smell o vision smell. Oh, yes, <laughs> smell o vision. So this is a cutting board finish, but you can use any type of wax that you want. But I'm going to do this, Debbie. Okay. I am, because you're actually really good with wood spoons in the kitchen. You don't need any help there. Okay. But here, gonna... just put some of that wax on. Okay. And, and wax off. Wax, wax on and wax, wax off. On. I'll have more actually, teachings for you later. I have so you. many movie yes. references in my head today. Yeah, so you really I, do. I, I, don't, I don't know. Now, do you have to wash these after you put the wax on? Once you put the wax on, you need to let it set for about 24 hours. Okay. And then you can use them. You can put them in the dishwasher. It actually sets it into place. You preach, I do treat these so, because I never do, like, I just use them and put them in the dishwasher. Do we, sh is waxing them on a regular That's, basis? I was thinking that too. Like, even yeah. when I do burn, barely ever happens. When ever, I do exactly. ever. Right. But no, it, it actually wood is pretty That's pretty beautiful. safe with yeah. that process. And if you, but this actually would help if you do this once a year, kind of like if you do that to your cutting yeah. board, it will help. Is it costly? It's so I shouldn't say cheap. Affordable. Inexpensive. Affordable. Affordable. Yeah, affordable. Yes. If you have the burning tool, but these burning tools, they're only about twelve to fourteen dollars at your local craft store. And you could use and them the spoons, for so many things. Yes. And the spoons, like this, even though this is a gift and you want to tell the person you're giving it to, it was worth millions. Right. Um, <laughs> but actually, this is seven dollars. And all I did here was add happily ever after. And you can do this for any, for a housewarming, for a yeah. wedding. And look, can you guys see? The bottom of the spoon. Oh. So when you're the mixing up the love. Oh yeah, you, yes. you put a little love in it. And this is for Mr. <gasps> and Mrs. So I wonder who that would be. Who could for? that be for? Hold on, let me Wait wrap it up minute. and tell you I spent three million dollars on is this. Is it for project. Wifey 101? It could be is Wifey 101. It's, it's for told? Wifey 101. This I'm pretty sure that's who it's Oh, oh Mark really? and Julie. Oh. May you live happily ever after with your wooden spoon.